This video will show you how to customize and create your own templates. We'll say that we want to make some changes to our house template and then save those changes permanently as a new template so we don't have to make them again. To get started, we'll open up Palm Tech and then start a new inspection with the house template. We need to give the inspection a name, so we'll call it Test. If you're like most home inspectors, you'll want to create a template that fits how you inspect. This involves making changes such as adding new items in, taking out items you don't need, changing verbiage, and rearranging the order of items. Let's take a look at how to do all this. We'll start off by looking at how to rearrange the categories. Let's say that you like to inspect the roof as soon as you arrive at the property. Because of this, we want to have the roof be the first category in the list after general information. We can do this by simply clicking on it and dragging and dropping it to where we want it to go. The gray line shows where it will be moved to. Roof is now where we want it. We can move exterior the same way. Another change inspectors like to make is to rename the categories. Let's say instead of it being named garage and carport, you prefer to say garage. You can do this by going to tools, rename category. Here we simply make the desired changes. When finished, click on OK, and as you can see, the category is now called garage. You can also delete categories that you don't need. Let's say that you're in an area where there are no basements, so this is a section you don't need. To remove it, all you have to do is right-click on it in the list and then select Delete. Here it asks, are you sure you want to delete this category? And we're sure, so we'll click on Yes. This is how you delete categories. The last change you can make with categories is adding a new one in. To add in a new category, go to Tools, Add Category. A message pops up asking if we want to copy an existing category. Let's click on No. Here we'll give our new category a name. Let's call it New Category. We have an option for Use Line Numbers and Ratings in Printed Report, which is checked by default. Depending on the category you're adding in, there are times when you'll want this checked and times you won't. A good way to look at this, if you're adding in a new category that will have inspection items in it, like we have in our other categories like lots and grounds, exterior, roof, and all the other ones, then you'll want to leave this checked. If you're adding in a category that's mostly just information, such as an agreement, invoice, standards of practices, or something else like that, then you'll want to uncheck the box. We'll leave it checked and click on OK. This brings up a screen that we can choose where the new category will appear, as it will show up after whatever category we select in the list. Let's put this after Attic, so we'll select Attic and click on OK. Now you can see that we have a new category added in and it's empty. At this point, we can add lines and components to the category to set it up the way we want. That is a look on how to make changes to categories. Now we'll look at how to make the same changes to lines. Let's go to the Lots and Grounds category. We can rearrange the lines just like we did with categories by clicking on the icon to the left of the line that we want to move and then dragging and dropping it where we want it to go. Let's move the Fences line to be after Balcony. That's all there is to rearranging lines. You can rename a line by double-clicking on the item text. Let's say we want to rename Steps and Stoops to be Steps. This can be done by double-clicking on where it says Steps and Stoops. This brings up a window where we can make the desired changes. We'll go ahead and change it so it only says Steps and click on OK. As you can see, the line has been renamed. You can easily delete out a line you don't need by clicking on the icon to the left of the line and selecting Delete Line from the options that appear. Let's delete out the Lawn Sprinklers line. It has now been removed. The last change that we can make with lines is we can add new lines in. 
To add in a new line, we'll go to Tools, Add Line. And then we'll click on the line type where we see that we have quite a few different line types to choose from. One question answer is the most commonly used line type. But in general information, there are lines that use both two question answer as well as three question answer. You can also add in a yes no option, a standalone note, check boxes, or an option list, a text piece where you can add in a block of text to your report, you can insert page breaks, a spot for an electronic signature, a rating prompt note line, or a component placeholder. We'll go ahead and pick one question answer since this is used most often. Let's make this line a line for fountain. So we'll type fountain into the screen prompt and then click OK. As you can see, the new line has been added in. We've now taken a look at how to rearrange items, how to delete items, and how to rename them. Knowing how to make these four simple changes will allow you to set templates up the way you want. The last change we want to take a look at is customizing components. Components are set up for any section that has a group of lines that may be repeated on an inspection, such as bedrooms and bathrooms. When we customize a component, we are customizing what happens when we click on the Add Another button. Let's go to the Bedroom category and see how this works. Here we see our standard setup for Bedroom, and it starts out with one bedroom by default. If we want to add another bedroom, we click on the Add Another Bedroom button. To customize the bedroom component, all we have to do is make the changes that we want to make and click on the icon to the left of the location line and click on Save to Library. Let's make two quick changes to show how this works. First, we'll delete the electrical line, and then we'll make a quick change to how the Windows line is named. Now that we've made our changes, we'll want to click on the icon to the left of the location line and click on Save to Library. Our changes have now been saved, and when we click on the Add Another button, you'll see our changes are there. Let's say at this point we've made all the changes we want and we're ready to make them permanent. To do this, we'll go to Tools, Save as Template. The first window that appears asks if we want to erase the data that has been entered before we create the new template. This means somewhere in the template we have an answer typed in, so we'll want to click Yes to erase it. It is important to mention that oftentimes inspectors will pre-fill answers intentionally and make those answers part of their standard template. If this is something you'd like to do, then all you have to do is fill out the information as you would like it to be, and then when you get to this part, you would answer No instead of Yes. The next window is where we give our template a name. So let's call this template Custom House, and then we'll click on OK. Our new template has been created, and the message is asking if we want to send the new template to the cloud drive. If we say yes, it will send the newly created template to our cloud drive so that we can use it on our other devices that we use Palm Tech on. Let's click on yes. Now that our new template is created, Anytime we start a new inspection, we'll be able to use it. Let's close out of everything and take a look. We'll open Palm Tech back up, and when we go to Start New Inspection, we see that our custom house is now an option in the template list. This concludes the video on creating your own template.